In this lecture, we're going to learn how we can customize our own SD org structure and how we can use it for the creation of the master data and the transaction data. So in this lecture, we're going to see how we can create company code, sales organization, distribution channel, division, plant, shipping point, storage location, and all that. So before we start, let us look at a business example. Your company sells and delivers various products to customers. You are a member of the project team that is implementing the sales and distribution process in the SAP ERP or SAP S4 HANA. One of the first step is to build up of the organization structure and you make yourself familiar with the corresponding elements. So before I show you the uh, SDO structure, I want to you to look at the MM and other module structure uh, so that you have some basic understanding about it before we start to understand the SD side of it. So first we we'll look at here the MM org structure. So here you can see basically on the top we have a client and under client we have company code and under company code we have plant and under plant we have store location. Now you will notice that many of the org elements or org units they are common in different modules. For example here plant and company code this will be common in MM and PP SD and FI module. So that's your uh, MM org structure. Then this is the production planning org structure where we on the top we have a client, under client we have controlling area, under controlling area we have a company code, under company code we have different valuation areas and under valuation areas we have different plants. So this is the PP side of it. And this is the financial accounting side of SAP where we on the top we have a client under client we have a charts of account under charts of account we have company code now the point to be noted here is the company code you can notice is the one of the most uh, uh, common org unit among all the modules now we're going to look at our st org structure so basically what we have is on the top we have a client under client we have company code we can have one company code we can have more than one company code now company code is basically a fi unit but we can also customize it here i'll show you how we can do this so under client we have a company code we can have one company code we have can have more than one uh, more than one company code and under each company code we can have one or more than one sales organization for example here we have one sales org and here we, here we have sales org 2 same way we can have more like sales org 3 sales org 4 sales organization under each sales organization we have distribution channel so again we can have one distribution channel we can have more than one under each distribution channel we have division and under each division we have sales office and under sales office we have sales group now creation of the sales office and sales group they are optional these are the optional org structure and we don't need to worry about maintaining them especially in this training and they are optional we can create them or we can ignore them same way we have another sales organization here which got only one distribution channel under that we have only one division and under the company code we also have a delivering plant linked and under each delivering plant we have a shipping point now the structure that you can see here, similar thing I'm going to show you how we can customize into the SAP system. Now before we understand how we can customize it, I'm going to talk about each of the sales, uh, each of the org unit um, description, just an overview before we create them. So first of all, let us see what, what, what does it mean by company code. So a company code is the smallest or unit after company. So on the top we have company, under company we have company code. In financial accounting, profit and loss statements are created at the company code level. Different company codes can be assigned to one company. And this is a menu path uh, that 
you can use to uh, go into this um, customizing object or you can also use the transition code OX02 to directly jump to the uh, this uh, customizing screen. So let me show you this one. So here this is my SAP system. So I need to go to first customizing menu which is I need to go to SPRO, enter transaction SPRO, press enter. Then click on SAP reference IMG. Then here you can see enterprise structure, open that. So here under definition we define everything, under assignment we assign everything. I'll talk about assignment in the next video but here in this video we only talk about the definition, how we can define them, how we can create them. So open that and here under financial accounting if I open that here you can see edit copy delete company code. So here I can see my all the company code. So let me execute this one. Now here you will see two options. First one is copy delete check company code other one is edit company code. So what I will do uh, first I will go to edit company code I will show you. Here you can see. Um, the company codes, all the company codes available in this system, maybe these are created by some other users. And all these numbers that you can see in the beginning like 10, 10, 11, 10, most of them are the SAP standard like they come with the, all the system. And what we do is we, we copy, when we create them, we, we select and copy them. And then we give it a new name, whatever name we want. In this one, we can also select them and click on this copy button and create a new one but it's not advisable to copy this one because there are two ways to do it. You can do it in this way from this screen but this will not link or assign or not copy all the corresponding um, all the corresponding uh, assignment underneath this level. So, so I'll, what that means is I'll show you later on. So here if you want to assign all the other objects if you want to copy all the other object as well from the copy code or the from the copy company code then you need to select the first option which is copy delete company code so i'll double click on it so here you can see this copy little copy button click on it so it's asking from which company code you want to copy so i'll select i'll see what are the different company codes available so here i'll try when you're trying to use a copy one then select the sap standard one and try to avoid the one created by other users because if the other users if you use other users uh, org objects and if they could have some error you will face the same error so better to copy the sap standard so like 1010 is standard 1110 standard these are the standard one so i'll copy 1710 so i'll select 1710 and to the company code so here is asking give it give the name of the new company code so here i'm going to give it a new company code so i'll call it call whatever you like but in for this course I'll call it SD S4 so it's a SD training for S4 training S4 HANA so SD S4 and I'll click on copy so now this is what I wanted to show you that here it's asking is do you want to copy all GL accounts and everything so that means we don't need to worry about creating and maintaining the GL account copying from this screen will copy everything like GL accounts and all the objects so I'll say yes again it's asking some other uh, controlling area data I'll say yes these are the financial keep saying yes financial bits so it's asking what currency you want to use I'll say USD saying certain data not covered that's fine just say okay number range transport just say no or even if you say yes doesn't matter just say yes he is asking for transport request not we because we maintain change all the customizing the development object and transport it to production later on so you will see if you see this screen search this one and select any any of the object if you don't see anything then click on this create button click on this create button and just say whatever you want to call it SD org structure save it it will generate a number and just say continue
keep saying yes For some reason it's showing me keep showing me the same screen. I'll just say no for now. So I'm keep pressing enter. It shouldn't take that long. Now it's fine. So here you can see if I if I go to the completed activities, so it's saying company code 1710 copy to SDS4. So once you see this message message, all good. So go back. Now here I'll open my company code, edit company code. Here you will see your company code. If I if you see ST, if I scroll down. See that's the one I created. So I need to change the name now. So I'll double click on it. And here I'll give it a new name because it copy everything from the previous one. So I'll call it. So whatever the company is, so I'll call it um, ABC chemicals, for example, limited, save it. It's asking for transport request, just like that. And then if you want to change the address of this company code, click on the second last icon. And then here you can see, see the address. You can change it, whatever you like. So I'll call it say New York ABC Street one, two, three, four, for example. And here give it a name. So I'll call it um abc chemicals limited that's my company and once you're done you can also enter email address phone numbers etc and once you're done you can say okay and save it go back so your company code is ready so i'll close it now we'll move on to the next object which is um, sales organization so let's see what sales organization is so a sales organization represents a selling unit as a legal entity for example responsible for the product liability a sales organization can divide markets into regions a sales organization is assigned to exactly one company code a sales organization is assigned to one or more plant. Now anything here you can see in green, they are the important ones. They are the important, they are, these are important. These statements are important for certification point of view and also from interview question point of view. So you will be getting this one as a slides in the PDF form. You can keep it for future for preparing for interviews and all that. But here just I want to mention that anything you see green, they are the important ones. So here um, a sales organization is assigned to exactly one company code. Um, a sales organization is assigned to one or more plant. So here the point to be noted is sales, sales organization can be assigned to more one plant or more than one. But a sales org can be assigned to only one company code. You can't assign the same sales org to more than one company code. So these points you will you need to remember probably. And you will we'll also see the same thing once we start customizing these objects. Each sales organization has its own master data, for example, its own customer material master and condition records, etc. And that's the menu path to customize it. So let's have a look. So here I'll close the financial accounting, go to the sales and distribution and see this one define copy delete sales org 
here if I double click on the sales hog you will see all the available sales hog so here I'll create a new one by copying I'll again copy 1710 so if I if I select 1710 if I select the second option again as, as we've done before you select the second one copy delete so it will copy all the next objects so if I click on copy all objects so I'll say copy from 1710 and copy to the new one which is SDS4 I'll, I'll give it the same name and say copy just keep saying yes or keep pressing enter so that was quick it's done so if you click on completed activities saying 1710 copy to SDS4 so this is also ready next we'll talk about distribution channel so what is distribution channel it is defined as a medium which is used to send goods and service to the customer for example wholesale retail internet etc now when i'm talking about all each of this uh, distribution channel please keep the keep this sales as this structure in your mind so what i mean is just keep in your mind that on the top we have sales sog under that we have distribution channel under that we have division so that's what we're creating here all right so let me go back to distribution channel it is defined as a medium which is used to send goods and services to the customer for example wholesale retail internet etc so it's a way how you the company is selling it can be via retail via internet or wholesale for example you can assign a distribution channel to a single or many sales organization so point to be noted is one distribution channel can be linked to one or more sales org it's not one to one assignment it's one to many you can use master data in one distribution channel to other distribution channel distribution channel can be assigned to one or more sales organization i think i repeated the same thing and that's the menu path so let me create distribution channel so here i'll go so here the next one is copy delete sales org so here you can first click on define distribution channel here you will see all the available distribution channel i'll be copying 10 so i'll go back i'll use a second one copy delete click on the copy icon copy from 10 copy to so here you will give a new name so i'll call it <clears throat> um, you can use the existing one as well but here if you want to call it something else so give it a new name which is not already there for example these numbers are already taken like 10 20 d0 like that so here i'll call it uh let's see okay i'll call it um say 50 let me let me use 90 so I'll create a new one say yes say yes so here click on completed activities so 10 is copied to 90 go back you can open the one that we just created so here we have 90 so call it I'll call it say retail for example so this is done let's look at the next one which is um, division a division represent a product line or grouping of services or material you can assign a division to one or more sales organization a product is always assigned to one division and that's a menu path so let me create a new division again if you want you can use the existing distribution channel and division or you can create your own so that's under logistic general and here you can see define check division if i open the define division you can see we got 00, zero um 0, 0170 and all that so i'll go back i'll copy 
So I'll copy 00, zero and I'll copy to, uh, I created 90 before, I'll create the same division, say 90 and 90. I'm giving the same number. Say yes. Just keep saying yes. Done. So here you can see in the completed activities, 00, zero copy to 90. So we got 90, open it. So here, if you want to give it a new name, you can give it a new name or you can just leave it like that for division 90, I'll say. Next is plant. So a plant is from where we send the goods to the customer and each plant basically has a different store location. There can be one store location, there can be more than one store location. So store location means that is a division of the is the division of the plants. It's a different area within a plant. So let's talk about it. So first we'll talk about plant. What is a plant? From material management module point of view, a plant is a location where material stock is kept. From production planning or for PP module point of view, a plant represents a manufacturing facility. From SD point of view, a plant represents the location from which the materials are distributed and services are provided. Relevant stocks are kept here. One company code can have one or more plant and that's a menu path to create a plant. So that's in the logistic general. So let me go to the menu. So here under logistic general, you can see define copy plant. So if I open the define plant, you will see all the existing ones. So here I'll copy one of them. So I'll go back. I'll say copy delete this one. Click on the copy icon. So here from I'll say I'll copy again 1710, which is the standard one. 1710 and I'll copy to um, SDS4. So my new plant name is SDS4. Just say yes, yes, yes. So it's done. If you go to completed activities, you will see that 1710 copy to SDS4. So if I go back, if I go to define plant here, if I scroll down, you will see the one that we have just created SDS4. That's the one I can open it and I can here, I can change the address or I can change the name as well. So I'll call it whatever you want to call it, New York plant, for example, I'll call it New York plant. Same way you can have one plant or more than one plant. If you want to change the address, click on this and here you can change the address. So let me call it again, New York. Just say, okay. Save it. And that's we, how we define the plant. Go back. Next is storage location. A storage location is a subdivision of the plant where the stocks like raw materials, semi-finished products or finished products are physically stored and maintained within a plant. A plant can have multiple storage locations and that's a menu path to create the storage location. So that's basically under MM module. So if I go to this one, so under MM, if you click on maintain storage location and enter the your plant name, I'll, I can search for it from here. And STS4 is the one.
and I'll say okay. So here you can see all these storage location are were basically uh, copied when we copied it from the other company code like 1710 because 1710 had, had all all of these so that's why it copied you can keep all of them you can delete whatever you don't want or you can create a new one by deleting these one for example if i select all and delete them this delete button say delete delete all entries and here i will create my own uh, let me save it first and then under this STS4 plant, I'll click on new entry and give it a new name, whatever you want to call it. So for example, I can call it uh, 001 um, 0010 story location and I'll say or I'll give it a better name. I'll call it prod. I'll call it production materials and here I'll call it one I'll call it raw say raw material for example and then I can save it so this way you can have one or more than one. So that's done. Store location is done. Go back. And next one we have is shipping point. So shipping point is a place from where we send the goods to the customer. And a shipping point is basically a link to a plant. Okay, so let me show you this one here, some more definition. So all shipping points is, all shipping point is an independent org entity that is required to ship the products to a customer. Shipping point processes and monitors the deliveries as well as the goods issue to, is carried out. A shipping point is assigned to a plant. Again, this is important. I forgot to mark it as, um, as a green, I'll, I'll do it after the, this video. A plant can have several separate shipping points and that's a menu path. So let me go to the creation of the new shipping point. So here you will see under, you won't find it under sales and distribution, you'll find it under LE, LE or L logistic general. So here we under LE, you can see define copy shipping point, I'll open it. First I'll see what are the different, Click on define one. So here you have 1710. You can see the different ones here. If I scroll down, I'll go back and I'll click on copy delete shipping point. Click on the copy icon. So copy from 1710 again and I'll call it SDS. Well, I'll give it the same, same uh, shipping uh, point code. So I'll click on continue. Just keep pressing enter or say yes, yes, yes. done so you can click on completed activities so 1710 copy to sds4 go back open it again so sc scroll down so you got sds4 so i'll call it you can give whatever name you want so i'll call it new york so that's a new york shipping point so I'll save it Again, this is the click on address icon. If you want to change the address, change it here. Done. Done. So save. So we have defined all these SD org structure. And that's it. So these are the all the main org structure we need to continue with our training. So just a recap, uh, what we have learned in this video. So we have learned how we can create our own company code or own sales org, distribution channel, division, plant, shipping point, storage location. 
so in the next video we'll see how we can how we can assign them so we'll continue the next video thank you very much for watching this video